Hello everyone, it is Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about tracking your sleep with the Apple Watch. Sleep is an important aspect of our daily lives that we oftentimes take for granted. According to sleep researchers, there are four stages of sleep. The awake stage, the light sleep stage, deep sleep stage, and the REM sleep stage. The light sleep stage plays an important role in helping maintain sleep and memory consolidation. The deep sleep stage, on the other hand, helps the body undergo repairs, build bones and muscles, as well as boost the immune system. Bedwetting normally occurs during the deep sleep stage. The final stage, which is the REM sleep stage, plays an important role in memory rejuvenation. Now, while the native sleep tracking app, which was introduced with the release of Watch OS 7, can track your total sleep time, it cannot track your sleep stages. To track your sleep stages with the app Watch, you will need a third-party app. We'll talk about that later in the video. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can track your sleep with the Apple Watch and we'll also look at the sleep tracking accuracy of the Apple Watch Series 7. The native sleep tracking app which was introduced with the Watch OS 7 will work with Apple Watch Series 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the Watch SE. To track your sleep with the native sleep tracking app, you will need to set up a sleep schedule Otherwise, the native sleep tracking app won't track your sleep. Although, if you have a third-party sleep tracking app installed, it can actually track your sleep even without setting up a sleep schedule. The first thing you want to do in order to track your sleep with your Apple Watch is to allow the Apple Watch to track your sleep. And to do that, to simply go to the Watch app, okay, this is the Watch app, go to the Watch app, find the sleep um, app in the option here this is a sleep app okay now scroll down you can see track sleep with apple watch toggle this on okay if you don't toggle this on the apple watch won't track your sleep there are other options there go through them and enable the ones that you want after you have enabled this the next thing you want to do in order to track your sleep with the apple watch is to set up a sleep schedule this can be done from the health app on your iphone or directly from the apple watch so we'll simply go to the health app okay simply go to the health app here if you see sleep in the option here if you cannot find sleep in this option just tap on edit to choose your favorite apps okay okay uh, if you scroll down this is the sleep um, option here i have toggled this on okay just tap on the star icon to add it back that's your one of the favorite and tap on done now you should see the sleep here so i'll tap on this and when you come here you can see that this is the sleep schedule and the sleep schedule is currently off i'll tap on this okay and when you tap on this what you need to do is to enable this option here okay and once i've enabled that option you can see that we have the full sleep schedule you can edit this all right you can choose to set up different sleep schedules for different days okay i'll just tap on let's say the more remove this two and i'll tap on done so this will work from monday to fridays i'll tap on add schedule okay and i'll set up a different sleep schedule for the remaining two days so just go ahead and choose the options further down here you can see we have sleep goal we have wind down wind down will automatically turn on sleep focus with sleep focus turned on the Apple Watch screen will dim, okay? It will lock up the Apple Watch screen and you won't be able to receive notifications and all that, okay? So you can choose how many minutes you want for wind down. I've set mine to 30 minutes, okay? So if you want other options, go to the options here. You can see turn on sleep focus at wind down, okay? You can turn this off if you so wish. You have sleep screen, you have show time, okay? You have um, sleep reminder, sleep results after you woke up, if you achieved your sleep goal, okay, this um, results will pop up, all right? You can also set up a sleep schedule from the Apple Watch. And to do that, you simply go to the sleep app, okay? You go to the sleep app and you can see that I don't have a bedtime set for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, 
okay and that's because i excluded saturday and sundays when i was setting up a sleep schedule on my iphone okay so to set up a sleep schedule for these two days i will go to um, full schedule here and then i will tap on add schedule okay and you can see that this is active for weekends okay uh, you can always change that just tap on this and scroll through if you don't want this to be active for these two days you can just um, exclude any of this okay and i'll just put the two of them together i'll tap on done and i'll go to bedtime set up my bedtime so tap on that okay this is my bedtime should be just use the um the YouTube, digital crown here to scroll through i'll put this at 11 11 pm that's my bedtime and i'll scroll up again I'll put up the wake up time at 6 um, a.m. I think I'm okay with this. Okay. You can choose to turn on alarm. Okay. You can choose to turn this off or leave it um, on. All right. And once you're done, tap on the add here. And this will add my sleep schedule. I'll go back to the main menu. Okay. So you see that for tomorrow, my bedtime will start by 11 p.m. And wake up is 6 a.m now let's talk about viewing your sleep result after you've woken up okay and one more thing again um, one more thing i want to mention is that to get the best sleep tracking result with the apple watch you have to wear it properly you should wear it snugly on your wrist it shouldn't be too tight it shouldn't be too loose okay and you need to give like one or two inches from your wrist all right so once you wake up from sleep to view your sleep result you will actually be able to see your sleep time right on right from the sleep app here okay if i go to the sleep app here you can see that for for last night this is the time i was asleep six hours and 15 minutes and if you go down for that you can see that it shows my sleep um my average sleep time for the last 14 days okay so that's the only thing you're going to see from the sleep app here if you want to see your respiratory rate as well as your heart rate during sleep you will need to go to the health app to see the full details so i'll go to the health app and you can see that it shows up here um, six hours 15 minutes and when you tap on that it shows you my average okay this is my average time for the past one week and if i tap on this this is for last night it said i was asleep from 10 minutes to 2 a.m okay to 8:05 a.m this morning and if you scroll down a little bit further you can see this sleep schedule we talked about initially and here is my sleeping heart rate okay this is the maximum which is at 74 the minimum is at 51 if you scroll down forward, I can see my respiratory rate. Okay, the maximum is at 19 breaths per minute, and the minimum is 12.5. Okay, so that's just what the Apple Watch can track. All right, the Apple Watch native sleep tracking app doesn't track your sleep stages. For you to track your sleep stages, there are apps that will allow you to do that. Although I've only tested just one of these apps, okay, and that is this app called Pilo. All right so go to the the app store from your phone or from the apple watch okay go to the app store and search for pillow with the pillow app you can actually track your sleep stages however for this app to track your sleep stages you will have to subscribe to a premium account all right so this is this pillow app as you can see here it said i slept for five hours six minutes this is um, against six hours plus with the Apple Watch. Okay, this is just for last night. If you tap on this, if you tap on this, you can see that if I have subscribed to this is a free account, okay, if you subscribe for the premium account, you will be able to see the time spent in each of these um, stages of sleep if you are using a third party app to track your sleep you will need to grant access to that particular app to be able to track your sleep with the apple watch and to do that you simply go to the health app go to the sleep section and scroll to the bottom okay 
um, find where it says data sources and access tap on it and if you noticed here i have toggled on access for the pillow app that's the app i talked about initially you need to toggle on um, access to the particular app you're using to track your sleep with the particular third party app okay otherwise it wouldn't be able to track your sleep with the apple watch and when you talk about the sleep tracking accuracy of the apple watch I wore the Apple Watch alongside Fitbit Vita 3, the Band 4 Pro here, and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And from the result, I can actually say that the Apple Watch has been consistent in tracking my total sleep time. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope to see the native sleep app being able to track sleep stages. I mean, it is long overdue. That is a basic function that you get with even smaller bands like the MI band 6, 7, Huawei bands, and of course the band for Pro here. And you can also find the same thing with other native apps, other native sleep tracking apps in the Galaxy watches, and of course the Fitbit, whatever devices. So guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.